And Denver Mayor Mike Johnston's homelessness initiative coming under scrutiny about how much it's costing taxpayers. Now we know the city has spent millions of dollars trying to help people experiencing homelessness, but there are still a lot of questions about that spending in particular. Denver 7's Brandon Richard joins us now, and Brandon council members also have plenty of questions about this plan. Oh yeah, they do have plenty of questions. They were able to ask the mayor's team some of those questions today. They asked about spending and outcomes, but the answers they got weren't as clear as they hoped. The mayor's homelessness initiative comes with a huge price tag, but the exact cost is still somewhat of a mystery. You have eight sites and I've been asking for what's the monthly operating cost for these sites. Council members like Stacy Gilmore have been asking how much the program, which has been rebranded as All In Mile High, is costing Denver taxpayers. But the answers the mayor's office is giving aren't entirely clear. There are many things that we're working on to fully understand, and I don't know that I'm going to have a good picture of that until closer to May. We're all in on this, and I want to make sure that we're doing this in a transparent way so that it can be replicated if this is successful. What is clear is the city spent $10.3 million on the mayor's homelessness initiative last year, $35 million less than they were approved for. The money they didn't spend has been carried over to this year. Aside from spending... The jury is still out, for, in my view, on housing first and its success because I've seen it... Uh, fall on its face. Council members like Kevin Flynn still have questions about the program's overall success. Of the 164 people who've exited the program, many went back to being unhoused or put in jail or died. When we are spending a significant amount of money on these programs, we've got to have better outcomes than a 73% negative outcome. The mayor's team said they're working to improve those outcomes by increasing their engagement with okay, site providers to thing. understand the challenges they face. They're hoping to have a clearer picture of the results in the months ahead. It's also worth mentioning that Councilwoman Gilmore resigned as homeless committee chair last November, citing a lack of transparency from the mayor's office on homelessness response efforts. And going back to the spending, when you combine the money that wasn't spent last year with the 39 million the city already planned to spend this year, that means spending could top $75 million this year. Wow, Brandon, one of the things that money was spent on hotel rooms or hotels turned into shelters. Did those council members bring up security, especially in light of the recent shootings, multiple shootings at that former Doubletree Hotel? Yeah, that was one of the big topics they talked about today. The mayor's team says that they're evaluating security at each site, bringing in extra security cameras, guards, and in the case of the former Doubletree Hotel, they confirmed they've added metal detectors in an effort to improve the security situation there. Of course, all of that adding to that price tag. Mm. Yeah. Denver 7's Brandon Richard reporting for us tonight. Thank you, Brandon.